330 million gods in Hinduism. Is that even true? Well, our ancestors have assigned divinity to everything in this nature and universe. The trees, the planets, the stars, the five great elements, everything is a form of god. Mainly because they are the very source of this universe, they govern all of this. In the third chapter, 11th verse of Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Devan bhavayata nena te deva bhavayantuvaha parasparam bhavayantaha shreyas parama vapsyatha which means we humans have to worship these celestial gods through yajnas and other rituals and in turn they will bless us with everything that we need for our survival health and well-being and prosperity it's a mutual transaction based on mutual respect and affection but what happens if we fail to acknowledge this divinity well i will tell you that in the next video which aspect of the nature do you worship let me know in the comments for me it's the lord sun